What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the easiest way to wire up any accessories to your vehicle. This here is our 2023 Toyota Sequoia. And this is the vehicle that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wire up some accessories. So on this vehicle, we have a Baja Designs 20 inch light bar behind the grill. And down here, we have a pair of Baja Designs S2s as fog lights. We also have some ditch lights as well that is going to be right here on the A pillar of the hood, which we'll show you guys a little bit down the road. We have the hood popped and this little guy right here is the product I wanna show you guys. This is made by Garmin. Garmin makes a bunch of high-tech stuff from GPS to watches to pretty much everything but this little guy right here is called the power switch. It is a six circuit system and it is super easy to use. So this right here, this cover has a little latch that comes off, twist that, pull the cover off just like that. Inside will expose six of the terminals you guys can attach your accessories on, whether it be lights, air compressor, a fridge, anything you want. And all you have to do is run the positive to one of these terminals and then your negative, which is your ground, to any ground on the vehicle. So this here, we cleaned up this area a little bit to remove some of the paint and put a bolt there and made that our ground. Since the Sequoia is a hybrid engine and the battery is way in the back, we didn't want to run wires all the way to the back. So the easiest way is to make a ground right up here next to our power switch. And you guys might ask, what about relays? What about switches? What about all the other stuff and everything that requires when wiring some lights? So here's my answer. Everything is built in to the power switch. So the power switch has relay systems built into it. So you guys don't have to run a relay. The switch systems, you guys can run off your phone or this vehicle has Apple CarPlay built in, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So there's no physical switch or anything to mount or to drill or to put inside your vehicle. Once you have your accessories connected to whichever switch you guys want, grab the cover, put it back, and then now you guys can control everything from here, just like that, or you can control it from your phone, or let's go inside and I'll show you guys on the head unit. Inside the Sequoia, we have the truck running we have our massive screen here. We have Apple CarPlay pulled up. You guys can see here, Google Maps, Spotify, and then this orange one, which is Garmin Power Switch. We can control all of our lights and our accessories directly on the head unit. And then you guys can see on top here, I have multiple power switches. So I have one on this truck, have one on another truck, so you guys can control other power switches from here but obviously it wouldn't work because if you guys aren't near it it won't work and especially if you're not paired to it so the cool thing with the garmin power switch is that everything is on the head unit on your phone or if you guys have a garmin overlander you can have it on that as well but the cool thing is that now you don't have to figure out where am i going to put switches especially on a newer vehicle like this where there aren't too many spots down here we do have some blank spots but the only thing with that is now you have to run wire from the engine bay all the way through the firewall pop these switches out and then try to wire it in and then the thing is like these blue buttons they all have a very specific color and then with aftermarket switches they tend to not match the color as well so if you're a type of person that doesn't want like mismatch colored buttons and that's going to mess with your ocd this is going to be your best solution for anything that um is you know aftermarket accessory related so another really cool thing is that power switch you can connect four power switches together totaling 24 switches on your head unit that way you don't have and you're not limited to just six. So if you have a ton of accessories, you can connect all four of them together. Or if you want to do two or three or whatever, 
you can control everything from the head unit. So if you guys are looking for the easiest way to run all your lights, all your accessories, without dealing with relays, without, without dealing with running wires all the way inside your vehicle, finding where to put switches, and basically chopping up the inside of your vehicle to have these switches, the Garmin Power Switch is gonna be the easiest and best solution for you. And you can just tie a bunch of them together. So if you guys have lots of accessories, you guys can still tie them together. So you guys will be able to find the Garmin Power Switch at runningfortacos.com. And we have it locally here in Denver, Colorado. If you guys wanna come in and pick one up yourself, this is really our favorite solution to do something like that's easy. Sometimes, obviously, there's gonna be situations where you want a physical switch, but if you guys don't care about having a physical switch, the Garmin Power Switch is gonna be the best solution for you. So, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, please do so, and we will see you guys in a later video. Peace.